Hello there. If you have watched my videos, you must have known that how much I love to travel. While traveling, I make documentaries as well. That's why I thought to buy a drone which would help me make videos of the places of historical importance. Oh yeah, no. Please do not expect me to tie a dog with the drone and fly. I wouldn't crash it into the White House, nor would I wrap a cat skin around it. Anyway, I did a lot of research to find a cheap drone that would fit my needs. I found SEMA X8G4CH, the best. G means GoPro capable, and H means it can hold altitude. I ordered it through eBay. It was for only $90 and within a week it was delivered from China. It's actually not a drone. It's a quadcopter that has four rotors. The package included 5 megapixel camera that can make 1080p videos. During a flight you cannot only control the camera remotely but you can also switch between video and photo mode. It doesn't have a gimbal nor brushless motors, yet the flight is very smooth. The videos came out to be superb and don't shake much. It's really a very good quality drone. Its blades are sturdy. It can fly on 9 axis, that means up and down, left and right, front and back. It comes with 7.4 volt, 2000 ampere lithium battery that takes 2 hours to charge. It gives only 8 minutes of flight time, yet it was enough for my needs. Unfortunately, Chinese sellers did not provide me with much instructions. Even though the blades have markings of A and B, I put blades incorrectly and it won't fly. I think it's normal for men who are married with children. Other than that, I did not make any mistakes assembling the drone. It was time to go out and do some flying. Oh yeah, please remember to obey your country's laws regarding flying a drone. Hey, I'm not talking about peeping neighbor's daughter. In the US, I needed a Federal Aviation Authority's permit. I got it through internet for $6 and taped it on the drone. I also wrote down my phone number on the permit so that if I lose it, someone can call me to return it. I changed this cheap camera to GoPro camera. Recently I bought a 4K camera on eBay that came from China for $38. I also used a 4K camera on the drone and the quality came out to be superb. Cheapest camera had the best quality. Wow, what the hell is happening here? Actually, technology is changing rapidly. Unfortunately, this drone can only be controlled for 100 meters range only. However, I felt like it can easily be controlled from 500 meters away. Since it's very fast, Several times I could not control it and it went away for more than its range. Once I lost signal, the drone kept on flying until I could not see it any longer. I searched the whole neighborhood backyards and two hours later I found it two miles away under a pine tree. No harm was done and that surprised me. Even the blades did not get damaged. My flying adventures continued and I got bolder and bolder. As I flew it, on several occasions I lost track of horizon. Once I landed it on the school roof, I was able to control it. I flew it again, but unfortunately I could not see it. I lost it again. I went to search on the other side of the school. It was nowhere to be found. I searched it for three to four hours in the jungle behind the school and finally gave up. Even though either it was raining or snowing, I would come back every day and would search at the approximate location. 
The third day, I found it resting under a tall pine tree buried in snow. However, the camera was missing. I asked the school principal to have someone search the camera on the roof. After three more days, I got a call from the school that they found my camera. I thought that after getting buried in snow for seven days, nothing would work. I was shocked when the drone and the camera were working normally. Long live China. This drone has very bright LED lights that would help during nighttime flight. I found this drone very sturdy. I think this drone is great for the beginners. For $90, I felt like I robbed China. Each time I would fly the drone, my wife would comment such as, Oh, wow, this dance is great. Oh, this is uncontrollable. Oh, why can't you fly it properly? Oh, you are flying too fast. Oh, you are flying too high. Oh, you don't know how to fly. Man. Oh, you are taking it too far away. Oh, you would lose it again. Oh, why don't you let it sit on that roof? Oh, why don't you let it rest on that tree? Oh, why don't you set it free? Ah, man. I felt like tying her off the drone and set both of them free. I wish I could do that. I could only wish. Married men know what I mean. You young fellas would never know. All of us gotta go someday. Why to be scared? I thought to get brave. I replied to my wife. This drone seemed to be married with children. My comment could easily ignite the third world war. I think it was my lucky day. She was in a good mood. She just laughed and set my comments aside. Hey folks, don't get wrong ideas. I'm just kidding. She is a great person. We just joke around each time we get a chance. The only problem is that I've got half a dozen sister-in-laws. If either one saw this video, they would tie me up with this drone and would set both of us free. Once at home, I turned it on to check if everything was okay. The controller was still off, but the drone got crazy. It started flying on its own. Luckily, I could get hold of it before it could hit my living room chandelier. Imagine, if the chandelier got broken, how many bones my wife might have broken in my body. On the other hand, the drone itself might have broken down. That would have gotten me a broken heart. Thanks God, no damage was done. I would strongly suggest you to go to a place where there are no trees even miles away. Otherwise, just like what I did, you will be hitting trees all over and would spend hours locating it. This drone is a great buy. Having said that, it was not fit for my purpose of making furious videos in other countries. This is very fast and very difficult to control. I needed a more stable drone, but I needed a reason to justify buying another drone. This drone survived so much abuse, rain and snow, yet it worked perfectly. It looks like a Saturn. Some children are more like Saturn. Even Saturn is scared of some children and doesn't want to get near such kids. I took some children with me to a park to have them practice on the drone. They would land it so hard and would hit trees again and again. Within 20 minutes, the drone had a broken leg and the battery cover not only got cracked, but it came off as well. Now, I had a reason to justify buying another drone. Thanks kids, I went to eBay again and bought a solo 3DR drone. It came from China too and cost me $190. Gimbal was extra that I didn't buy. It's a heavy drone that weighs about three and a half pounds. Not much assembly was required. Batteries take about three hours to charge and that lets me fly for up to 25 minutes. It has an integrated GPS system. 
while flying it, I want it to return. All I need is to press a button and it will come back just like my youngest sister-in-law. If the battery is about to die out or any obstructions in signal, the monitor will tell you and without asking, it will return within one feet of where it took off. Simply awesome. I can have it follow me while I'm driving or going in a boat. It can orbit me or around a building and take photos or make videos. So many great features that it got just perfect for my needs. I took it all over in my hometown and made footage. I took it to South America on my trip to Peru and made some aerial footage that I'll show you here as well. Enjoy! Please do not forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel to see many of my nice travel videos. Thanks!